Oh. Let me see if I can give you what it looks like underneath here. Uh, this is your uh, oil filter, obviously. Uh. <laughs> skid plates. Right on. Oh, that's your front skid plate. These are plastic. Right on. And then back here, uh, which protects your primary. This is your primary right here where your belt's at and stuff. Tranny. All that stuff. Airbox uh, for fuel and whatnot. Uh, brake lines. Tranny. <laughs> it's very tight under here. And, uh, yeah. Lumpy as shit. Barely enough room to uh, get in here and do anything. I'm trying to give you guys the best view I can. I took this skid plate off. This is your oil drain plug right here. Hopefully you can see that. Right on. And then uh, there's your oil filter. I took this right here is all you needed to take off. This plate right here. Which is uh, that one. And that's just to get to your oil filter. I just wanted to see what was under here and uh, check it out. So that's your front plate. Now uh, the other one's on the other side. But yeah, that's what it looks like when you take your plates off underneath here. Oil drain plug, oil filter, all this stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to be under here for a minute. I'm going to drain this stuff, and then uh, we'll fill it back up. Um, but you take this off. You take your oil filter off. Right on. Clean all that area out of there first. Get all the mud off, off of that before you take it off. So you're not getting mud or anything in your engine. So clean that off very good all the way around there. And then put your new filter on. Fill your new filter up with about a, <clears throat> a third or a half of oil. Screw it in there. Uh, put your drain plug back on or uh, put your drain plug back on first once you drain it uh, do that uh, then put your oil take your oil filter off and then uh, fill it back up with a uh, get a new one and fill it up with about halfway of oil screw it on and then go back up top and uh, put uh, about three and a half quarts and it takes a, a little less than three quarts to fill it but uh, that's what you need to do Rock on. Oh, there's your drive shaft. One of them. Uh, one of your yokes. CV joints. Well, not CV joints, but your uh, uni. Universal joints and stuff. Uh, but yeah. Get a good inspection of your uh, buggy underneath. Uh, before you close it up and look at it. Good. Make sure you don't see any cracks in the frame. Anything out of place, anything loose, something that just looks uh, a little out of place. But these these uh, skid plates up front are plastic. I'm not sure about the front one. I think the front one's metal. These are plastic. Uh, this is plastic. And then the one right back here. Uh, protecting all the main uh, stuff is uh, metal uh, guards. And then up here, you know, you got drainage up here and all that stuff. So that's cool. And this is a uh, ram air for your uh, motor to uh, get air up in there and uh, to let water out also while you're mud bogging and whatnot. So yeah. Oh man, but I'm a sore puppy, I'll tell you what. Check all your nuts and bolts while you're down here. Make sure they're tight. All that stuff. <laughs> These are storage shocks, all that stuff. Even if you can't see it, just run your camera through it. So this way, if you see something when you upload it, you can uh, check it out. Make sure nothing's cracked or damaged and stuff. Right on. Go down the rails, look up into the motor, all that stuff. If you want to check your uh, primary or get into your belt, you're not going to do it this way. You have to take the gas tank, you have to take the seat out, the gas tank out, 
and then you have to uh, take some of the uh, plastics off of the inside, pop them out, and then come down here and uh, pop off your primary bolts and stuff like that. And then you have to have a, a special wrench. You just can't squeeze them and pop them on like you do uh, a lot of uh, uh, snowmobiles and stuff. You actually have to take off the main primary, back it off, and then put the belt on, and then put the primary bolt back on to... Uh, get it and that is a uh centrifugal force bolt meaning it's threaded reverse i believe so yeah but this is the underneath of your uh terex and uh i did take off too much but i just wanted to show you what was underneath here so you had a good idea when you go ahead and uh, try to get your stuff taken care of but yeah that's it this here didn't have to come off because your drain plugs right here and then, but you have to take this, this one here to get to your uh, oil filter. Make sure all this is clean down here before you start taking things out and draining it. That way nothing's getting back into your motor or anything like that, man. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a mess down here. If I didn't have this thing up on ramps like that, 